What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? I put together a compilation for you of lawyers who were unlawfully arrested, and they ended up getting the last laugh. Some of these videos are several years old, so if you've already seen them, I have all the updates at the end of the clip, so watch it all the way through. Links to the original videos will be in the description. Let's get to the video, and I'll see you guys later. Hope y'all enjoy it. The city of Houston just spent thousands of dollars to settle a claim that an HPD officer jailed a lawyer for no good reason. All the lawyer wanted was an apology. When she didn't get one, she sued. Now that the case is over, she talked to our Larry Seward. Larry? Well, Lynn, Mia, that lawyer wanted HPD to hold the officer involved accountable, but settled for money when they fought back. I'm telling you, if you're going to get arrested, you're going to... This Houston police officer. I'm calling the captain on this. This is, this is not right. Jailed lawyer UA Lewis. She put a homicide hold on me, so I didn't have a bond. And made sure she stayed there overnight on an interfering charge. Video doesn't lie and it doesn't take sides. Dismissed three months later. More aggravating, the lawsuit settled in Lewis's favor that she did not want. I was hoping that HPD would look at her behavior and say, you know what, we don't agree with this. We don't agree with this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna address this and address her and her behavior. I mean, McDonald's would do it. Almost four years ago, Lewis called HPD when a mechanic put his hands on her co-worker's wrist. But in her report, that officer doubted the, quote, attorney, took the other guy's side, and used handcuffs. You're interfering with the police investigation. After Lewis spoke up, prosecutors pushed a plea deal for months. As a civil rights lawyer, I could not. But Lewis fought. Once cleared, she asked HPD to discipline the officer involved. Attorney Randall Callinan sued when they did. People are arrested for so for lack of a better term, failure to um, bow down to a police officer. When she took that authority and abused it, and I know it as a civil rights lawyer, how could I let her get away with that? How could I not have her to address that? Last month, the city settled for an undisclosed amount. In a statement, a spokesperson told us the city tries and settles many disputes and always weighs the risks of litigation and makes decisions in its best interest and that of taxpayers. This case was no different. Lewis offered the city a partial refund, $5,000, for an apology, but she's still waiting. Now, tonight, that officer is still on the force. HPD had no comment about this case. We mentioned that Ms. Lewis is a civil lawyer. She actually yeah. won a judgment today. She says this case helps her to be a better lawyer because now she can relate to the people on the other side of the bar. She's not telling you how much she settled for, is she? No, she's not, but oh. it was enough that she could offer five grand. I got you. Right. Thank you. This next video takes place on March 17th, 2017. This is Blount County, Alabama. This woman you're seeing here is Sergeant Sue Ashworth, and she has a warrant for a man that had court to search him and his car for his cell phone. Well, the only problem is, is he's already handed his cell phone to his attorneys. They saw him hand the cell phone off, but they haven't served the search warrant yet. And the attorneys refuse to hand over the phone because they don't have a search warrant for the attorneys. I'll have all the most recent updates from this incident at the end of this video clip. Uh, I'm from the sheriff's office. Do you have any other weapons on your person at this time that I need to know about? RC. No, sir. No, I do in the car. Okay. What do you have in normal with? A small pistol. Okay. Your vehicle is also part of this search. Okay. So I'm going to have to ask you. You have the keys to your automobile? Yes, sir. I need the keys to your automobile, right? Okay. Let me pat you down, make sure you don't have any other weapon. Just your safety and ours. Okay. <clears throat> Just hang tight, we'll get all this resolved. Alright, you the warrants that you all have are for his person. That's and correct. For, and for his vehicle. That's correct. And so he has given the phone that's on his person. Okay, I have video of him handing the phone to you. You hand the phone to her. It's okay. in the satchel right now. No, you all do have that, but that is not on. When you all no, I'm not here for house with Brian on the That was not on his person. Okay. So you all are not entitled to that. Okay. Well, all right then. We'll go the other route to get that other phone. Okay, we're standing here and we, we have it on video that he handed his um, cell phone to his attorney, uh, one, and they handed it to another, and it's in the satchel that is right here. 
Well, are we being detained? At this moment in time. They're not denying it. We have I'm it on video. I'm going to detain you until we determine the next course of action. Give me well, just a minute. Well, I have this okay. person and vehicle. I'm going to turn this off. I don't think what we just done. Okay. Um, okay. We either need the phone out of the satchel or we will have to detain you and get a search warrant to get the phone. So you're going to, well, okay. Uh, well, we're not going to give you his, we're not going to give you anything that's on our person that you don't have a, a, a right to. So if you detain us, you know, you got there, you, you have to have, you know, certain, there's certain constitutional safeguards to do that. But you're going to detain us, then hey. We're not going to run, so, are you, are, and you all are telling us we are being detained. Is that right, Officer um, Rapp? Right. right now, you are being detained. Until, now, if they determine. Okay, you both are under arrest for obstructing government operations. Obstructing government operations. That's correct. This is definitely an unlawful arrest, but we're under arrest, we're under arrest. Yeah, really? I don't know if you're still in trouble for it. I don't think it's standing. Sir, if you would, turn around and make sure you don't have no weapon on you at all. Of course not. Okay. Just make sure you We have it on video. We have not, we have not broken the law. So if you're arresting us. I'm being arrested for obstructing government operations. That's correct. Let me take off this, this right here. Uh, if you don't mind, take them off. That way you'll be able to. Yeah, we'll mind. Are you sure you are doing this? I am doing this. Okay. Okay. And this is, and you, and what's, who are you? I'm Sue Ashworth. Sue Ashworth? That's correct. I used to find my address. And you, and you're arresting us under her okay. orders? Yes, sir. Okay. We also need to be doing this. Watch these folks, and I will go down and search the automobile. Uh, Can you pull your car out here and go put them in the back, whatever you want to do? Uh, that's up to you. If you want to do that. All right, this is this is y'all gig. I'm just I'm gonna do that. Deputy Randall, yes, I, want, I want to make sure that you know from our position, our position was that this search warrant, this uh, this warrant was given to him after he, he gave us some, some things for us to use in his defense. And so we did not Good. do anything to keep you all from doing you all's job. Now, if you all want to I'm out of here. This with, satchel uh, and go the through and do it. At the we can't, we're not, we're not, we're not we're preventing you from doing the search warrant on the car. Uh, so I'm out of here just well, for me to And I understand your point, but understand ours. From the moment he's entered the courthouse, he's been under surveillance. This guy. For the reasons of this search warrant. Alright? I'm sitting here and watch you and him and her. I can't believe we get about 10 or 15 minutes. I'll be ready. You looked up. You, as a matter of fact, you did look up at the camera two or three times. He pulled the phone out and handed it to you. You handed it back to him. He was fooling with, I'm guessing, a password. Hey, and after a short period of time, he handed it back to you. You handed it to her and she put it in here. Okay? That is evidence for this search warrant. And, and you agree with me that you all served this search warrant, help? 
subsequent to that, after that, all right? Yeah. After we left out the deal. Yes. Yeah. Would you agree that we are not preventing you from okay, getting the deal? Okay. I mean, we could we, we could sit here and split the these hairs yeah. all day, okay? Yeah. Well, ain't the first time the attorneys have got arrested before. Sometimes just get unlawfully arrested. So Victor Rebel and Megan Garcia of the Rebel Law Firm, they were charged with obstructing governmental operations. They had a $3,000 bond. They bonded out. The charges were eventually dropped. There is a lawsuit pending. Sergeant Sue Ashworth and Officer Brian Ratliff both lost their qualified immunity. The lawsuit is still ongoing. The next court date is scheduled for February of 20. 23 and since these two officers lost their qualified immunity all signs point towards they're going to get sued and these lawyers are going to win the lawsuit i mean it's open and shut case While you're looking for that, do you know I'm being pulled over tonight? Hello? Ma'am. Hey. You know why you're being pulled over tonight? Do not talk? Okay, I'm going to ask you one more time. You know why you're being stopped tonight? I don't think anybody would be surprised to find out that the charges were dropped and this lady reached a settlement agreement. Hope everybody enjoyed it and I'll see y'all later.